Hello everyone, today we are with Dr. Father John Pige. He is priest of Archidiels of Bhopal and is a renowned educa educationist, an outstanding linguist and a highly accomplished academic person. Presently serves as the principal of Bhopal School of Social Science and executive director of the BSS Institute of Advanced Study. Welcome to Thoughts on Education program of collegeinia.com. Thank you. Sir, kindly introduce yourself. I'm Dr. Father John P.J. <clears throat> and uh, I have been in this uh, profession for the past 35 years or so and uh, in BSSS for the past 9 years. Well, I do enjoy this profession and more so among the youth, educating and uh, part of learning also. Sir, you have held key position at Education Institute throughout your career. What keeps you connected with the education sector and how has your experience been so far with them? Well, it's my own conviction. I'm a priest, so I can take up any kind of work. Maybe pastoral, maybe social work, maybe in health sector. But I chose for myself education with the conviction that education and only education can change the scenario of our country in the coming future. Sir, being the principal as well as executive director of the institute, what is your philosophy of leadership and how would you describe your leadership as well? Well, I, it's, I think it has come up to me uh, very naturally, not so much I learned or accumulated. But then I believe in, uh, you know, in um, delegation. And therefore, if you know, I am all alone in this college as from the administrative point of view. But then I have this disseminated work, distributed work, and I believe in a delegation. And that's my philosophy. So the education systems in India and other foreign countries are structured very differently. In your experience, what can an inbound student gain from studying here in your institute? Sir, I have been speaking about the environment of an education institute, especially of higher education. And it is only teaching and learning. And the environment that we create here is just that. A conducive atmosphere for good teaching and better learning. And uh, I think our Honorable Prime Minister introduced new culture of NEP has brought in some universality in teaching system with the credit transfer and then you know accounts for credit bank system these all have some way or other have taken a step ahead though it is not fully practical like a state of ours but i think it will take us forward to the universal learning and teaching sir how does the curriculum of your institute ensure the best practice of the institute sir we have a, a uh, you know, an academic industry interface whereby students do visit and they learn things from, uh, you know, uh, on hand, you know, hand on learning, so called. And that will uh, create interest and also there will be a lot of learning uh, with the visits and other internships that we take over with uh, industries and companies. Sir, what do you think should be the institute top priority over the next 10 years? Well, we will have to universalize, you know, it should be a global learning instead of getting and that is NEP will take us to that because we have also promoted uh, dual degree programs even from, you know, international universities. So I think this will broaden the entire prospects who would like to see education at a different level. Sir, what do you see as the greatest strength of your institute? Well, teaching learning. Any suggestion you would like to give to the current youth and the aspiring students? Of course. It is so very distracting the world is with all these social media uh, matters and also the, the other scientific and social developments. But one has to be very alert and also self-responsible. Nobody can take up your responsibility on this. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for giving your time. Thank you so much and uh, all the best to education, college, many other.